Let's be real, it's hard to find the motivation to sit through a Jets game right now. I sure as hell wasn't looking forward to this game because A, it's the Philadelphia Flyers, a team that's 25, 44, and 11, versus the Jets, who's 36, 32, and 11, both out of the playoffs. This means absolutely nothing. So, they better play good. They better have something entertaining to show for tonight. That, that's all I cared about going into this game. End of the game, 60 minutes done. You have a lot of milestones in this game, a lot of fun play, some boring times, don't get me wrong, but who cares, because everyone that needed to score today and do something got their milestone. Kyle Connor sets the record since relocation with most points in a single season, with 92 passing Blake Wheeler's back-to-back 91-point seasons from a few years ago. Congratulations. Kyle Connor gets his 46th, I believe, of the year uh, today. No, not 46, excuse me. I think he's even, uh, got 47 now, actually. 46, excuse me. I was correct. He gets the empty net goal for four, for his 46th. Going to be close. Two games left. He's It's going to be close, but he could do it. But everyone else has a great game. You get great game from Pierre-Luc Dubois. Nikolai Ehlers gets his 28th. He might actually get 30, which would be great. Dubois has got 28 as well. If they could both get 30, that would be awesome. But more importantly, the most Uns- the unsung hero of the Jets this season, without a doubt in my opinion, a guy who I ragged on very hard, as a lot of you guys did as well, because I didn't think he was going to be a good option. But God damn it, I am so happy to be proven wrong about Eric Comrie. Eric Comrie gets his first NHL career shutout tonight. First game he ever played was back in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. It's just just perfect. Like, it's, it's perfect. And the way Hellebuck skates off the bench, goes over to the ref, gets the puck from the ref... And take it last in line and gives it to him. Like, like I love seeing stuff like that. Like, this season sucked. But little things like that, you know, they, they give me encouragement for the future. Just like in the last game, Sandberg's play. I'm like, you know what? I, this, this, let's, let's get a little excited. You know, like, this is stuff that will be here hopefully for a while. And they're playing good hockey. Guys like Eric Comrie and Sandberg and, the, and other players like Connor as well, they're what's keeping me going right now. And I bet they're keeping what's a lot of you guys that are watching these games still going. Because let's be real, at this point, what else do we have to have? We got nothing else. So, like, what, the Moose are in the playoffs? Yay, so are the Ice, but that's not the Jets. This is just such a fun win that we won 4 nothing, first career shutout, all the other milestones. Not to mention, I still think two games, four goals, he could do it. He needed to score today to really make it like, okay, he has to, but I think he can still do it. This game was just fun. It was a fun game. Was there boring parts in it? Yes. Was it against a top-tier Philadelphia team? No. Philadelphia's goal today tonight was pretty weak. But that doesn't change the fact that this game doesn't matter. So who cares if they're weak, if they're not weak, if if it's bad penalties or good penalties? None of this matters. Hell, if anything, Philly should be happy they lost this game. and helps them with their tank. I'm just happy the Jets went out there and won with, with fashion. With a little bit of style. With some sizzle they put on this game. And, and that's all I care about. Either lose badly for the tank because who cares at this point or win in glorious fashion just for the diehard fans that need something to keep them sane right now even though it's very hard to be sane with the winnipeg jets this season god it's just nice just nice to win one you know like it really is and to win one like this with the milestones like i love it like i love it especially because kyle connor sets the record for franchise points like that, that is awesome does he get 100 hell no did he have a great night tonight? And did he still have, what is it, three-point night, I think you believe he had? Kyle Connor, three-point night tonight. So, you know, could he have a couple more three-point nights? Yes, but it's going to be close for him to hit that point total. But either way, it doesn't matter because he's had such a damn good season. The fact that he just holds the record now for most points, that's all that matters to me. I wish it was in better circumstances with us going to the playoffs and him having more attention on him. But it is what it is. As for fans, that's all we can care about. We can give him the respect he deserves. I don't really give a shit if he gets respect from other teams because, let's be real, the Jets will never get respect ever. Even when they were a top-tier team, uh, they still didn't get the media coverage that all the other teams did. Even they were, they were, what, number two in the league, I believe, that season? Number three, right up there with Nashville, Tampa Bay, and uh, the Jets, I believe, that year in 2017. They were the top dogs. You know, it's just games like this. Thank God they won like this. And the ice time too tonight. I, I liked it. Except, I will say that I still don't think Morgan Barron and Svechnikov playing nine minutes each, basically, respectively. I don't think that's very right. I, I think, especially when you have a guy like Jansen Harkins, who started this game on the top second line, I believe. He only plays 11 minutes, but which is suits him more. But you've got, you got to get these guys more minutes. Barron and Svechnikov are guys that should be here next year, given more roles. They've been great so far. Barron especially, and Svechnikov's been a gem all year long, and a fan favorite now. I just want to see these guys play more. They deserve to play more, especially because these are nothing games. So I don't know why Dave Lowry insists on throwing guys out there and playing them so much. Like Mason Appleton, 18 minutes tonight. Okay, that's a lot of minutes for your third line when you should be dispersing it between the third and the fourth. But I digress. You know, Dubois only plays 16 minutes tonight. 
still good, but still, you know, like 16 minutes with four minutes almost in the power play, so you can add that up, but still, little things like that, you know, I, I, I know there's two games left, so I'm just, I'm barking up the wrong tree because there's, who cares at this point, but I don't know, it's just little things I want to see more, you guys know how I am, I just share my thoughts raw and unfiltered, and that's basically what my thoughts are on this game, I don't have much else to say, I don't want to drag this out, even though it was awesome, and it's great, you know, I, I, it's been a good day, I guess, for the Jets, for to be a Jets fan, Chaz Lucia signs his three-year ELC, you can check out the video right up there if you want to watch it after this one's done, since we're basically at the end, um, the Jets win 4 nothing. new franchise record for points in a single season by Kyle Connor. I know it's probably not franchise because of Ilya Kovalchuk, I can't remember, but since relocation, that's all that matters to me. Jets history, uh, Kyle Connor, he's now number one in the books for a season, so I love seeing that. Love seeing Comrie get his first career NHL shutout, especially after the season he's had. Very, very well deserved, and I really want to see him back in a Jets uniform next year. I think the room loves him, and I think Hellebuck really likes having a guy back there that he can feel like he can rely on and has helped grow his game, because you can just tell that the relationship that Helly and Comrie have developed this season has been a big reason why Comrie is so much better than where we thought he would be at this year. And I think that if you keep him around... You know, give Burden one more year in the AHL and maybe call him up a little bit. I think you're looking at a good goaltending situation for the future still with Hellebuck and hopefully keeping him around after this next con after this current contract of his is up in, I believe, two years or whatever it is. So I'm happy. I really am. This was a fun game. Was it boring at times? Sure, but who cares? We won. 4-1. Good fashion against a bad team. Thank God it wasn't close because that would have not been fun, let's be real. And yeah. I'm happy. You should be happy too, even though the season's a write-off and it's been really disappointing. It's nice to have a game like this near the end of the year to help, you know, push you in the right direction with your faith in this team. I know it's 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 going on really a, like one game is a lot, but, you know, you got to find the little things right now. Um, so I'm trying to find the little things in this game. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this game, and I hope that you too could find the little things right now with the Jets to enjoy them play because if they're still your team and you're a diehard fan like I am, even though it's pain, right now to watch them play because you know it's all for nothing you gotta find the little things to stay sane right so with that being said thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you're new to this channel regardless of the team that you root for definitely consider dropping a subscription we'll be covering lots of playoff news as it transpires and gets closer and closer to the stanley cup being awarded so if that interests you and you're looking for different outlets for news related to the nhl definitely hit that subscription button and if you've been subscribed regardless of how long for definitely make sure you have that little bell icon turned on for notifications follow me on twitter or instagram check out all the other affiliate links down in the description below as always have a great rest of your night peace love and positivity as always from me to all you beautiful people out there in this world go jets go i will see you guys in the next one check out the lucius video and with that being said bye bye